Hello everybody and welcome once again. Here we are for another edition of Inside the Headset. Here we are week five, game six, and I'm with the head coach of the Oakland Patriots, Coach Thomas McDaniel. Coach, last Thursday night you played the Blackman Blaze and came away with a victory, but uh, what a wild and crazy evening and I'll let you kind of expand on that. It was uh, quite a game, you know, I think uh, it pretty, pretty much lived up to the hype and I thought it was two very good football teams and uh, both of us played, you know, hard. Blackman played very hard, we played hard and you know, I think both teams made a lot of mistakes, both teams made a lot of big plays and um, it's unfortunate that, I, I mean, I don't like going into the officiating but it was unfortunate because I did feel like it was a poorly officiated game in spots. But, um, you know, some of those calls went against us, some of them calls went for us. I think Coach Shed Holmes would tell you the same thing. But the um, biggest thing is we found a way to win. You know, it, 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 um, we needed that game bad for our morale and taking the next step in the right direction. I, mean, I go through uh, you know, any number of plays that happen, but ultimately it's about the team and we, we needed that victory. So uh, it was an exciting time for our kids. Hard fought ball game, both sides, and, and, uh, and you know, really as a fan, great game to watch. So uh, you took off Friday, of course. You, I think you went and done some me time, which is good for you, and, and kind of let the players off, and we roll back in. And Monday, what have you been doing Monday, Tuesday, and then this afternoon you'll have practice full speed, of course, Wednesday, but what's um, been going on? You know, we, we, uh, we, came, we gave them off Friday, and, um, and, and then came back in Monday, had a good physical practice Monday, uh, had a, a physical practice yesterday, and, and today will be kind of a mental day for us, so our two big work days are out of the way now. And obviously the rain and the weather the last couple of days right. can change the schedule a little bit, but actually for us it's really not a hindrance at all with the indoor facility. So, you know, those are the days that we really go in there and just kind of bang, bang on each other and beat around a little bit. And uh, So we've had two physical days and worked on Oakland, which is what we needed to do. And, um, you know, today hopefully we'll clean some things up and get outside. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. And, and uh, just mentally get ourselves prepared for Friday night. And uh, it's our homecoming week, so obviously a lot of distractions and things can happen, whatever. But, but we've got we to gotta worry about one thing, that's Lincoln County. And if we do that, then I, you know, I feel fine. Injury-wise, how, how are the Oakland Patriots? Uh, still beat up. I think um, Trayvon Willis still is not healthy. You know, Played maybe five snaps the whole game against Black. And that's, he's not the best player. He's one of the best players on our team. So um, you know, without him, um, it just it's it's detrimental right now for us on both sides of the ball. He should be starting inside linebacker and probably starting to tailback. And right right now he's not playing, you know. So um, it's hurting us, but uh, we're, we're still trying to get him healthy and healed up. And then Anthony Akers, sophomore defensive tackle, has been in and out of the starting lineup because of different injuries. Right now he's struggling with the back strain, so we're gonna get him evaluated. And I don't know that he'll play. Trayvon will not dress Friday. Um, and, There's uh, just no sense in it. I mean, well, I mean, I just we got to get him healthy. Either right. Get healthy and play, or you know, we got to figure out another alternative. So um, we're going to try one more week to get him healthy, and then uh, Anthony, we're probably going to sit him due to the fact that um, you know we need to get him healthy, and his, his back's been hurting. So um, those are the two biggest ones right now, and and uh, hopefully we you know with another week off, we get them ready for the next uh, district game. Well, and you uh, you talked a little bit about it, kind of spilled the beans, but it is Lincoln County as the opponent, and they're looking for a W, and they'll be a little bit on the hungry side as they come into Patriot Field. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I got a lot of respect for Don Thomas and what he's uh, he's done in his coaching profession. You know, he was at Laverne for a while at, uh, when I was at Riverdale, and uh, Don ran and no I, huddle, didn't he? Yeah, and Don and I've gotten big uh, buddies. I always like working seven on sevens or whatever with uh, with uh, Coach Thomas, and and uh, of course the principal over there, Louis Thompson, is. is uh, is a friend of mine as well through Coach Rankin. So played for Alabama. Yeah, and he's a, he's obviously a legend. So uh, it's a great uh, uh, historical program. You know they're struggling in some spots right now, but uh, I'm sure we'll have his team ready to play. And like I said, with all the with the game Thursday night and then the hoop live homecoming, you know we'll we'll need to make sure that we we handle those things in the appropriate manner. But um, you know it's another opportunity for us to go out and get better. Hopefully we can move ourselves to four and two and, um, you know, just uh, take it one step at a time. Well, let's wrap it up. That's, that's good enough. Uh, got a non-district one here Friday night. I'll be here myself to call that one. And that'll be the Oakland Patriots and Lincoln County Falcons. Y'all be here.